In this video, we're going to set up view transitions on a Next.js application. Now, I don't know if you've seen this animation before done on the Astro framework, especially on their block template. It's very clean and it's very nice. We're going to be doing that on Next.js. So here's a quick demo of how it's going to look. So you see this uh, button right here. I'm going to click it. Look at that animation. So beautiful, so simple, so clean. That's basically what we're going to set up on our Next.js application. I do want to uh, shout out the author, Sue. Um, Next.js dev, super cracked. Uh, a lot of the Next.js devs are just like, especially like the front end design engineers, they're always cracked. So I highly suggest giving them all a follow on Twitter, especially my man Sue over here. He's the author of this package and it's very simple setup. All we have to do is install this package, next view transitions, import uh, view transitions, and then wrap our app around it. And then we're just going to import the link text. So we're going to do that for an app application real quick. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to install. So let's do I'm going to use yarn. I'm a team yarn yarn add next view transitions. I will zoom in so you guys could see. And then that should be installing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to import view transitions from next view transitions. And this is in a layout.txt. So you have to wrap the whole app. Uh, and then, oh, I forgot the, that. Okay. So we're good there. And then we're going to wrap our whole app with view transitions. Let me just take the closing tag, put it underneath. So we are good to go here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to swap the link component with the link next view transition. So. I'm going to find the page.tsx. I think I use this. I use the link and let me see the nav bar. I'm sure I use the link in nav bar. Okay, so I import link from next link uh, because I use it for uh, the nav component. So I'm just going to swap this import here. So I'm going to take import link from next view transitions. And we're just going to swap it here. So my whole nav bar should now use the view transition. So let's go on my local host. Let's just give it a quick refresh. Okay, we're good. Now let me click on blog. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. Very, very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap all my link components. So I'm going to copy import link from next slash link instead of going file by file. I'm going to search where I can find it. I see that I use it in all these files and all I'm going to do is just swap it with this one. So my whole entire page, every link component can be swapped here. And then all I have to do is click this button here. Do I want to replace all of them? Yes, I do. All right, let me just clear this. So my entire app should have this link component. Now let's see. Okay. Ooh, very nice, very clean and very simple too. Uh, that's pretty much it. Make sure to follow Twitter, subscribe on YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.